What did you say to me? Hi. Okay, you need to leave me. He's being rude. You're being no. rude. Cool, you're getting fired. Uh, fired. 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 And then I turn around and you're going to be rude. Go back to your country. Go back to your country. Spitfire, as always, you know how I do. So Mr. Hansen and Jamie are going to lose their job today. This is what happens when we with a man. Okay, bye. Since this video has gone viral, she's facing an enormous amount of backlash. Her Instagram is gone, her Patreon is gone, her explicit Twitter is gone. She's lashing out on Facebook, but on YouTube, people are making fun of her for being a psychic, but then she still went ahead and uploaded the video knowing what would happen, but then she super liked it. So something tells me she's actually going to benefit from this, especially when her YouTube video views are up 1000%. But let's run the whole video back for context. Hi. Okay, you need to leave me. He's being rude, you're being no, rude. No, I'm not being rude. You need to leave. I'm not a customer? Me, I'm not so customer then I want my thousands store. of dollars I spend here back every day. No, leave. Leave. So then give me my thousands of dollars. Leave. Cool, you're getting fired. Uh, fired. Leave. Fired. Fired. I said, I'm not leaving. Call the cops. I've done nothing wrong. I'm trying to buy something. And he's like, I'm not discounting anything. I'm not selling you anything. Get out of my store. Like pushing me out, like walking me out. Not touching me, but like pushing me basically out. You're gonna be rude, go back to your country. Go back to your country. Cause he wasn't from here. For all the people in the back, if you ain't gonna fucking respect Americans, go back to your country. Spitfire, as always, you know how I do. Back in New York, the word is not really like offensive, but I understand we live in a day and age and everybody's not from New York City and everything is sensitive to everybody who's not from New York City. So the gay guy, got really offended when I said for him to go back to his country. Get out of here, you go back to your country? Yeah, you ain't never go back? Yeah, you do this, you yelling, screaming at me. That's not how we treat customers. So Mr. Hansen and Jamie are gonna lose their job today. This is what happens when we with a man. Okay, bye. So before you feel bad for the guys, it does seem the official Home Depot TikTok account has confirmed they did not fire the workers. But the girl, she's getting blasted on YouTube nonstop, and it's actually almost sad at this point. But it is curious that she's actually super liking comments that are calling her out, which makes me think she subscribes to the idea of no publicity is bad publicity. I mean, if Mel Gibson can come back from his horrendous phone incident, maybe the secret to escape being canceled is to stop catering to the people that despise you and just lean into the people that actually agree with you, no matter how awful those opinions are. Just look at her Facebook reaction. Yeah, it sucks anonymous people online take it too far and send terrible messages, but it looks like she's learned nothing doubling down that she was the one done wrong in Home Depot. And all this happened because there's a problem with men and all these what if statements as if worst case scenarios that didn't actually happen are even relevant to her terrible reaction. So at the end of the day, I never want to go at someone that just had their worst moment go viral on the internet. But at some level, I do believe that she actually enjoys this added attention. And if she really regretted the moment, she wouldn't be doubling down and justifying her reaction to the Home Depot guys. And she wouldn't be leaving up any of her social media, let alone be super liking the people that criticize her. So even though this really isn't a political issue, this is more tackling where we are in society in general. So if you want more breakdowns like this, let me know in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed this whole video, maybe I've earned your subscription and you can help us get to 90,000 ducks. Or at least you'll want to check out my video on what's really going on in Portland as it appears the left is imploding.